I finished my job for Spike. Hope I did enough. If we don't get some more antis in, then the whole tower's done. I had to spend the night in a safe house. The sun was setting and I would have gotten caught in the dark. You awake? Spike, what's going on? Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. That's super weird. Cooperative mode. You have completed the prologue and co-op mode, mode is now uh, available. Press options to enter the game menu where you can find and join other players. Try fighting zombies with your friends for completely new experience, including friendly competitions and team, team challenges. I feel like the zombie apocalypse might be a bad place for friendly competitions. But anyway, uh... So I took a, I took a break and now we're here, I'm now playing one day later. Uh, I want to point out that when I, when I spent the night in here and I woke up in the morning, I actually spawned in here and had that radio call in here. But then when I loaded the game back up at this point, uh, like it did the whole, it did the whole loading screen recap of the quest like it did before, but I woke up here. I woke up, I just sort of woke up outside of the place and was being talked to. That, that was somewhat odd. But anyway, I have no reason to be in here right now, so let's just close on up and get, we gotta start huffing it. Spike needs to talk to us. Almost certainly something has gone horribly wrong, because that's what happens in zombie apocalypse storylines, otherwise it'd be very boring. There was a zombie virus, people came back from the dead, but then everything, but then the grace of human kindness and cooperation shone above all else, and the zombies were defeated. The end is not how any of the stories ever end, because not because it's necessarily realistic, because people are often like, Yeah, man, that's how it would really be. People be every man for themselves. No one would work together. People, mo people are monsters, man. Because people are overly swayed by fiction. But people often forget the fact that uh, what people choose to use in their fictional stories isn't necessarily a realistic. Is this the... Oh, yeah, that's, that's how you get back into the... Uh, that's how you get back into the, uh, the, t the building we started in. The thing is, that's not necessarily a realistic perspective to say that everyone's doomed because people won't work together. No, that's just, that's usually the interesting story is having, is making it harder for everybody. Because, uh, if everyone just works together and all the problems just get solved, then, uh, well, what do you, what do you make the movie about? What do you make the game about? So, The Walking Dead has to be a bleak version of humanity. At least for a long ch chunk of its storyline, because otherwise you don't get a you don't get a uh, comic that can go on for like 150 issues and counting. That's just kind of how that works. I often feel like that's not the way. It, I like I feel like DayZ, for example. Like I heard r r like Rooster Teeth podcast talking about the game DayZ, and I played DayZ, DayZ myself. And the moment you start playing the game, it's like, all right. I can't wait to have a cool cooperative survival experience in an MMO setting of an, for a zombie apocalypse is what I was, thought I was getting myself into. Nope. In DayZ, the moment you spawn, if you, if anyone, if another human character finds you in, in line of sight at all, they just shoot you to death. Usually snipe you. So you get lots of, lots of getting killed before even knowing that someone was in the area. So it's really... Oh, that's where I'm trying to go, isn't it? Whoopsie. I need to pick a route that actually gives me a chance to go over that wall. But like, and, some, and so I heard people talk on the like Rooster Teeth podcast and a few other places saying like, yeah, it's such a realistic thing. Like everyone would suck in the survival situation. I'm like, well, no, that's that's what a bunch of it, that's what it, that's what happens when you get a bunch of assholes on the internet to play a game together and killing people has zero consequences because everything's fake and in a video game is everyone's just gonna kill everyone the moment they can because they might have loot on them. <laughs> the game incentivizes uh, killing other players. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. Spike, what's up? Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, oh, shit. Is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Okay. Wonder if I'll finally get to meet Brecken in person. Meet Brecken in person. Or what's left of him. Ah, ah, ah. He died horribly. The end. Uh, 
New outfit unlocked, unlocked athlete. That was pretty easy to get. All right, so my survivor ranked up, so I can get something new. Backpacker. Uh, learn how to use space in your backpack more efficiently. Gain four new slots for carrying weapons. Wow, so immediately double your weapon slots. Versus boosters. Learn how to use plants to create boosters, which allow you to fight without getting tired, run faster, see better in darkness, or develop more resistances to attacks. Uh, I'm going to go with the backpack upgrade. I'm really bad about using consumables. That's something to know about me in every, basically every game I ever play, pretty much. Uh, the exception being, uh, oopsie, fell down. So we're going to have to run for it. Uh, when you give me consumables, like, this gives you fire resistance and stuff like that. Or, this will make you slightly more resistant to, to, to damage. Uh, in every RPG ever, I tend to just kind of not use those objects. I'm just really bad about it. Because I'm always saving them. Or I'm like, this isn't a fight worth using them in, and stuff like that. Or, if the game doesn't explicitly push me, like, you have to do this properly to survive. I'll just, I'll just make do with being slightly less efficient, rather than do it. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. That's not a de that's not me having a bad dead zone in my controller, by the way. I'm slowly rotating just to be slightly, slightly scenic whenever I have to stop to talk to people like that. All right, so we're gonna meet up with Bracken. I f I'm not sure. I'm not entirely clear on one thing, which is, do these people have the recipe we're trying to get back? Or is it just we're are we just infiltrating a group so that we can survive down here and have a base of operations with which to strike out towards the other group? Hello? Sir? Do you want to discuss something? No? Okay. <laughs> the, just the the perfect him standing perfectly in position and having eye contact made me th think he was here for me, but I guess not. Okay. Hello? Uh let's see, team with Brecken in the tower. Are you Brecken? No, but you look angry. You have those angry eyebrows. Uh, I don't know where he is. I, he must just be further upstairs. Weird. The uh, the 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 cursor, uh, the bullseye cursor doesn't really have like a a direction saying go upstairs or downstairs. It just sort of has an arrow. I guess I'll, I'll show you guys when I find him. I might have to wander around. He's probably up top upstairs. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Oh, hey, Timur, you have a quest. Good job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? That's it? That all, that all you want to say to me? Okay, maybe, excl maybe exclamation points aren't quests. Maybe they're just... Hey, you're capable of talking to this person. So I was getting thrown off by the fact that the, uh, the target side is pointing me at the elevator. I'm just bad at noticing elevators because in this game they don't they don't have ele elevator doors the way I'm used to in in the United States. They have just a normal door with a knob and at least to an elevator. I'm like, oh, what's this? Crane, listen. Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him! Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just- Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah, okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron, I'll be in touch shortly. Look, 
There's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. So, looks like we just got a side quest. Yeah, let's hold hold up the track. Go after that. I've been set on a primary quest, sure, but it seems logical to go after the thing that's going to help the uh, leader of the group. A lot of exclamation points. So let's go around to see if we can talk to people. Hey, do you have spare keys for 202? Well, what's the problem? Something's going on in there. The door's locked from inside. Is that a new quest or just a random dialogue? Apparently floor two is locked from the inside. What kind of trade opportunities do we have here? Uh, you can buy stuff. You can get a knife. A uh, French wrench. Wow, 49 damage. That seems like a lot. But these cost... Uh, hundreds to thousands of dollars. I have 360. Not... Not quite on the level I want to be on. Uh, might be a good idea to buy some lockpicks. We'll maybe buy... Let's buy five lockpicks. Yeah, I know I can craft them too, but you know. Just seems to make sense to have a bunch of those, because that, that means that whenever I find a, a locked box, I can open that up. And that's going to be one of our big opportunities to find cool shit in the wild without having to buy it. Dawood must still have a lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Yeah, probably a bit of everything, really. I sure could use some of that stuff now. The moment they mentioned seizures, I knew that meant that was going to be... That, that was going to mean that... Oh yeah, let's send me to go find seizure medicine. Just seemed like the logical follow-up for that scenario. And so... I think, I think it makes sense to follow up on the, uh... Keeping the leader alive before we proceed. Otherwise, everything could fall apart. What's going on here? Hello? Guys? What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Uh-oh. All right, good night, Mr. Bahir. Might as well track this. This is apparently right here. We'll see how this goes. So do I have to lockpick it or just open it? Lockpick, right? Yeah, oh, lockpicking easy. That's the first easy lockpick I've found all day. All right, start on the right, because I have, seem to have good luck over there. Nope. All right, on the left. I have 14 lockpicks. I'm okay with that. I'm going to become king of the lockpicks. Do I win? I win. And now we die. Oh, he's good. Hello? Bahir? Bahir? You in here? Help me! Bahir is not... Oh, there he is. You okay? Did he hurt? Oh, did he fall? Is he dying of a bite or did he just fall over like a dummy? Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took Antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. Uh, is it expired? Or did he take the wrong thing? What's going on here? You picked up Antizin. Oh, it's fake. There's fake antizen. That's kind of twisted. Uh, what you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't. I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizen? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? 
No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Oh, please, hurry! What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was turning. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. I'm glad that we're expanding into uh, side quest territory. I was worried that we're going to be doing really long fetch quests at, for the main story, and that was it. But things are expanding more, and this is, this is tr turning into be something that's probably going to be a good companion for uh, my uh, Dragon Age series. Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <sighs> Safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. Oh, well, this is an interesting situation. Bring this guy a gun, and he'll give us access to what I assume is his place of work. Like, he works, he worked somewhere, and so he has access to all sorts of goods inside, and all I need to do is bring him a gun so that he'll be willing to leave. And then Gretel... Of course, I don't even have a gun for myself yet, so he's gonna have to wait in line. She and her brother Hansel were now free to go home to their daddy, who was worried sick about them. Despite being only small children, Hansel and Gretel managed to outwit the witch. You see, this fairy tale is true. Even children can outwit an evil witch, if they're smart. So you need to be smart. And you have to remember that hungry people can do terrible things. You all need to be on the lookout for bad witches and monsters, who may try to lure you with breadcrumbs. No zombies better come around here. My dad says we'll cook them and eat them. I sort of hope he's kidding about eating them. Though I gotta say I'm pretty hungry. Maybe eating a zombie wouldn't be that bad if we had ketchup. And that's how he Dale died at the end. Jesus Christ. I think eating it, if a zombie's biting you turns you, then you eating them probably turns you. Just gonna take a educated guess on that one. Alright, let's try to deal with the, uh, the antizen problem so that, uh, Lana can find out what it, is there anything in here I can take? <laughs> probably shouldn't be walking into people's living quarters and stealing from them. Sir? Do you have a thing against shirts? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out of this room now. Very slowly. Okay. Run! <laughs> uh, let's, fi let's find Lena. But yeah, I like that we're expanding it. I can't go out this door. Oh, I'm still, I still have to go further down before I can meet this person. I probably needed to go... Yep, down an another staircase. That's my mistake! Okay, now we're on the right floor. I like that we're getting side quests now, because it branches out. I feel a little less forced to follow one little specific uh, chain. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner, the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. Pretty fucked up to be providing people with a fake antidote for the zombie infection. And pretty concerning that, uh... What, what, they, they gave them something that, that fucks with them? Like, why not give them something that doesn't have an effect? That way they can think they're doing fine for a while and it can trick them. But it seems like they're they're giving them something that's just gonna cause them pain. That's I feel like that's gonna get you uh, exposed pretty quickly. Oh, that's it's Mr. Goggles. Moving on. Not who I'm looking for at all. Do I get a direction of where Yusuf is, or do I have to look look around for him? Let's hop up. Oh, I think I might have gone too high. It's saying to go down now. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing a person up here. All right, let's hop back down. Mr. Youssef. Is there a person around here? Besides the one that I've already met? Nothing so far. We have a plant. Is this plant Youssef? That plant is surprisingly well rendered as far as textures go. A little foggy and blurry, but it's, a, it's kind of it's kind of moving in a realistic way. Kind of impressive. You're not Yusef, right? You're the you're the guy that was training me earlier. I can't talk to you. Nope, he's just gonna sit there and stare into space for a while, as his as is the way of his people. Heather, that's gotta be Yusef. Hey, asshole. Yusef. Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony Antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. The plot thickens. Y Yusef, the very apparent junkie. Look at that face. All those weird, all those splotches and everything. He's definitely abusing, using something that they're getting from them. But uh, yeah, those are not, that is not a good anti-zombie uh, drug. So we're gonna have to deal with that by heading downstairs and finding the assholes that are that are faking us out. Alrighty, we're downstairs, outside, and ready to go search for that drug store. I went to look up uh, the voice the voice actor of the protagonist of this game because I was curious. I was recognizing his voice, but I wasn't sure what I was hearing. A uh, part of me suspected Nolan North, but then the more I thought about, it, the more I listened to it, the more I wasn't sure. Crane, it's Lena. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antazin. Brecken is boiling mad. Yeah, I'll bet. How's Bahir? He's stable. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Crane. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. I'd right, understood. So it turns out his name is Roger Craig Smith. He's noteworthy for playing uh, Bruce Wayne and ba and Batman from the uh, the Batman Arkham games, and he plays Sonic the Hedgehog. So that's that's a weird connection there. <laughs> Oops, I'm falling. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get bitten. Oh, there's no one here. I totally thought there was someone here. But here's what I suspect about this quest: these guys that are poisoning us. I'm pretty sure that they. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these assholes. Probably was like, oh, there's a rival camp there, and that rival camp has supplies in it. I know. We'll poison them. If we poison them with fake uh, fake actors in cure, we can make them weak or wipe them out. Then we can raid them for their supplies. Looking around, I don't see a way in over here. Probably just gonna have to walk up, find a, a front door. Oh, hello. Take a seat. Be my guest. Take a load off. I'm gonna run out of things to say really quickly. Thankfully, I can run past a lot of these guys, but don't want this person being a problem. No other competition so far. Oh, there's one. Where's the door to this place? No more tricks. Time to tell the truth. I roll Asani. Does that zombie have a weapon? That zombie has a weapon. I don't like that. Don't have, don't have weapons, zombies. Get out of here. Your weapon. How dare you raise a hand against me. I'm your better. Because I have, I have high-functioning brain powers. Basically, is the reason. Anyone keep sneaking up on me? No? Oh, this guy's still alive. Stop it. Oh, oh okay. Weapon broke. I, I know how to deal with that, though. It's all about replacing it with. Replacing your. Oh, wow. He is not going down. This zombie is invincible. 
I say when, I, when he's dead finally. That is not an accurate way of processing that information. Okay, so... Do I just walk in? Anyone around? Activate light trap. Light trap. Oh, here come zombies. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Sorry. Let's get out of here before this gets worse. <coughs> I need to just... Can I jump higher? Sorry, started having myself a quick little coughing fit. I'm over it now. All right, so there's the guys there. Sharp, looks like he's sharpening a blade. Do they see me? There's a dude. He looks like he sees me. They're not really reacting to me so far, are they? Dude? Friendly? Are we gonna have to, are we gonna have a, a nasty little fight here? I got my good pipe out. Sir? Sir? Can we have a can we have a conversation, please? Okay. N nice meeting you. Uh can I talk to you? What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, I hear you're selling Antizen. Who told you that? A little bird? Not just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Garbage? My formula is 50 times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead! Oh, well, that's kind of what I expected. How did you hear from Yusuf so fast, by the way? I'm gonna go up here now. Do you guys have guns? I don't see any guns yet. Oh, 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 hello, friends. Hello, friends. Uh, that's not, that's not what I thought it was gonna be. Uh, firecracker. No, firecracker's not what I want. Do I have... I don't think I have any Molotovs on me right now. I, I'm gonna hop... Oh, head. Just gonna go ahead and get a little distance from the incoming attacks. How are we doing here? Hey, asshole. Down you go. Is he dead yet? Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. I can't really see what I'm doing right now. Okay. Can use that med kit real quick. Hey, asshole. Down you go. Oh, you reacted very well to that, taking that pipe to your head. Oh, and then your head exploded, so I guess... I guess everyone's head has a limited durability. Is that a zombie? Oh, that's a zombie. What the hell? Why are there zombies here? Who's this asshole? Get away from here. I'm just gonna wander off for a second here. Anyone else see me right now? Hey, dude. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're taking zombies. Oh, okay, these zombies are being a problem for everyone, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, sir. Down you go. Nope. <laughs> I guess I can just keep stepping back. Eventually they all have to die, right? Any zombies attacking me? They're fighting zombies. How's that working for you guys? Should have uh, should have had a more secure camp. <laughs> and then his head exploded. Having a pretty good uh, hit rate so far. <laughs> he was distracted fighting someone. Now I can take advantage. He's dead. Hey, zombie distractions are good. That guy's not fighting me right now, so I'm going to grab... Ew, I was groping his head stump. Is that guy, he violent? Oh yeah, they see me. Okay, there's a, uh, they have a bad time to loot around. All right. Uh, Bahir. Oh wait, not Bahir. Bahir's the name of the guy that was dying, right? You're the asshole that thinks he makes laser vision shit. Nope. Shoot lasers at me now, asshole. Come on, try it. Okay, this guy's gonna hit me a lot. Okay, I'm going to back off and heal. Things are not going entirely ideally right now. Thankfully, I'm really, I have like Wolverine freaking healing factor whenever I have access to a med kit. So you guys are screwed. Down. Nope. Up. Oh, oh, did not successfully outrun that attack. Okay, this is not ideal. This is not a good situation to be in. When do I get the parry? Do I get, do I, that's not a parry move. Oh, I can dodge, that's good. There we go. Now you're really screwed. I found the dodge button. Or, remembered the dodge button. By which I mean I fumbled around and pressed a button and I'm like, oh, that dodges. I remember, the, I remember them mentioning that at some point. Right Keep dodging backwards. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't you got this? You got this? 
Oh, he dodges too. That asshole. No, you don't. You don't get to hit me. Only I get to hit you. That's how this works. He is amazingly hard to kill, by the way. This guy can take a beating. I don't think he even has a brain in there to lose. Very tragic. He never recovered. I, I guess he can't really recover if he never had a brain. Go down! Oh! <laughs> I actually dodged that. That actually worked out. Neither of them are going down. This is incredible. Maybe their stuff really is super powerful. I'm gonna wander off for a second here. Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, God. I need a chance to heal. Oh, I'm out of healing kits. That's not good. Uh, I may have fucked up. Unless he dies. Uh, I need to switch weapons real quick. There we go. A pipe that's not broken, at least. Come here, asshole. He's not going down. Why won't you guys die? All you have to do is stop breathing. It's easy. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> a second here, I might actually show them. Oh, God, he threw something at me. I'm really in bad sh bad shape now. Please die. I'd be in such a better situation if there was only one of you. They're really good at dodging. Too good at dodging. Oh, there goes his head. You should give up now, dude. I just killed your entire camp. Why are you still fighting me? Do you really think you have a chance? I guess at this point you're probably like, eh, I'm fucked because everyone's dead, right? So he thinks that he has no chance. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I should probably not be fighting him right now. Deuces. Apparently combat stamina and running stamina are two different things. There we go. That was a grueling fight. I win, though. Lena, it's Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. Yeah, I imagine Bahir's probably not very happy about the, uh, basically attempted murder on his life, although... Admittedly, Yusef may have not have known at the time that he was screwing people over. A pocket lighter. That's probably handy. Probably, probably lets me create a light source without having any external help. Probably be good if I run out of batteries, because I, I assume this game has some level of, of battery power in it. Oh, yes! There we go, some gauze. Oh, player stash. Right, because this place is mine now. And a note. Note number one. Uh, I believe I can find these by going to collectibles. There we go, no number one. Uh, Bento, I understand that you said sometimes the drugs don't work as well as they should, but when we started doing business, maybe one, maybe one out of five pills didn't work right, like they would do nothing. Then later it seemed like one out of three pills didn't do anything. Then half of them did nothing. I don't really understand what the placebo effect is, but it's not working for more it's not working for more and more of my customers. If you could increase the placebo levels in these medicines, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, it's great that you now produce antizin in your own, uh, in your own lavatory. Not laboratory, lavatory, which is bathroom or toilet room. Uh, I'm sure the quality control will be much better. Glad to be in business with you. We're going to need make a lot of money and help people too, Yusef. Oh, poor. Poor optimistic Yusef had he knew not what he wrought. That everything this guy was saying was just he was an, he was either an idiot or he was evil. Neither of which is a good place to be in. Can I open your fridge? Yes, I can. And in your fridge we get alcohol. So far, one, two out of two fridges I've opened have had alcohol in them and nothing else. So I'm glad their priorities are in order. I believe I leveled up something. Probably it's power. I can choose Kick Stun. Your kick has a 10% chance to stun the enemy. Stunning, stunned enemies are much easier to kill. Press L1 to execute. So I can L1 to kick. That's what I should have been doing. I should have been kicking people and then following it up with a melee attack. Uh, Multi-throw. Lock onto up to three enemies with throwing weapons. Hold L2 to mark your enemies. Release it to throw. Um, You have to really stock up on throwing weapons. So I'm going to go with the Kick Stun. As far as I know, my legs aren't going to come off, 